Hey there. So it's Saturday at evening and I just finished completing this additional module in my Excel for Siri add-in. I wanted to show you how I use ChatGPT's code interpreter tool to create this module. So let's get started. So if you're not familiar with the Excel for Siri add-in, it's a free add-in we created at ACRE. Basically it it expands the functionality of Excel specific for commercial real estate, financial modeling professionals. And it does a variety of things, which I won't get into too much in this video, but a new feature that I've begun to add is this, call it modeling modules. So imagine you've got a property level model, you wanna drop in a uh, equity waterfall model. But what I'm doing is I'm adding those modules, which right now you can just download from our website in Excel format. I'm transforming them into, in essence, one-click uh, add-in. So for instance, I come into modeling modules, I click the two-tier annual equity water, waterfall model, pops up and it asks, hey, do you want to do this? If you have a larger workbook, it can take a couple minutes to build. With, with this workbook here, where there's nothing in it, it's going to take just a few seconds. I'll hit yes. And then it asks me, hey, um, what would you like to name the new worksheet where the waterfall model will be built? We'll just call it, uh, I don't know, partnership cash flow. And it builds the module, right? And so here's some instructions I won't get into too much. But what you have here is a fully dynamic module, instantly built, simply with a one click. And how it was built is uh, some VBA code. You find it here. And this is the VBA code. And it's a couple hundred lines of code, all written with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Uh, so the first step to write this code, and this is something you can do on your own, you wanna build your own tool. I mean, if nothing else, I think you'll, you'll find it interesting and it's where AI is going and how AI is allowing non-technical uh, people, but with uh, specific skill sets to develop tools that make their life easier. And so, the first step actually was to model in Excel this very module. And, and so if you hit control tilde, and what you'll see is all of the formulas in each of the cells. So if you're unfamiliar, again, you hit control tilde and you can toggle between just the standard view and this backend view. And that's interesting, right? And this contains all of the elements of this module. But what I ne then need to do is to instruct VBA or write VBA code that adds to each of the cells in a new, new worksheet each of these formulas. And if I were to do this manually, it would take me hours, if not days. But what I did is I used Code Interpreter, uh, the add-in to ChatGPT, to basically read each of these cells, pull out the information in each cell, and then write the code for me. So let me show you that. So I open ChatGPT. Now you'll need to have ChatGPT Plus to, to do this exercise. I'll go to GPT-4, and then I'm gonna select Code Interpreter. Now what Code Interpreter is, is it's basically a tool built into ChatGPT that allows uh, GPT-4 to read files, to read code, to execute code, to edit code, and then that iterate on that code. Uh, it's basically a built-in Python uh, interface. And, but in addition to that, it can read other files. It can read data files. It can take PDFs and, and uh, interpret uh, words in PDFs. It can convert certain files, other file types. In this case, I'm gonna have it read an Excel file for me, analyze that Excel file, and identify the values and formulas that are in each cell. So again, chat G, or GPT-4, code interpreter, and I'm gonna write, can you read this file? And then I'm gonna upload that file that I showed you that had the formulas. I click this upload file button. And so two-tier equity waterfall model formulas, and I click enter, and now it's going to read that. Sure, I can help. I will use Python's open PYX1 library to read Excel file. Please hold while I load the data, and then I can actually see what's happening. And it uses, again, this, this Python interface to read the file. The workbook contains a single worksheet named Sheet 1. Now let's proceed to read the content of this sheet. So it did. Right? And it read that content. 
The Excel sheet appears to be a financial model for a two-tier annual equity waterfall, which is a method for distributing the profits from an investment between the stakeholders. Here are the first 10 rows of data. So it just kind of gives me some info. Now I'm going to give it a greater instruction. So what I want it to do is to read the first, I don't know, let's go row A through, um, I'm sorry, go row one through nine, and let's go columns A through P. And let's have it display each cell and what appears in that cell. So I'll say, great, please display the value or formula in each of the cells within the range A1 through P9. Uh, display the values, formulas as follows. And then I'll give it an example. You know, A1, uh, two-tier equity waterfall model. Oops. A1, A2 is blank. A3 is blank, and so forth. And now it should go through A1 through P9. And here it is, analyzing, reading the worksheet. And uh, there you go, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So those are the first nine cells down in A. B1 through 9 is blank. C1, 2, C3, C4, right? And notice how it identifies what's blank, identifies what has values, and so forth. Would you like the values or formulas for the rest of the cells in the range? Yes. And we'll continue. Sure, here are the rest of the values. It's going to go through G, and it'll go through H, and then it'll go through I, and all the way through P. Now you're going, okay, how, is this value? Well, there's a few reasons how this could be value, valuable. I mean, imagine you, you spit it, uh, you, you, you provided a rent roll. You can analyze that rent roll. It can actually read every cell in your Excel workbook and then analyze those cells. And so you can prompt it to whatever degree uh, or whatever use case you see necessary. In this case, what I want it to do is produce a VBA macro that's called a subroutine that will reproduce this. And then I take that subroutine and I, I add it to my Excel for CRE add-in. And then uh, from that, you get that auto populate module tool. So I'm gonna prompt it now. Excellent. Uh, now I want you to create an Excel macro that first creates a new worksheet and then populates that worksheet with the values in uh, as outlined above. Please um, produce each cell separately. Uh, let's see what it comes up with. Should write the code now for us. I'm sorry for any confusion with AI developed by OpenAI. I don't have the capability to directly create Excel macros. However, I can guide you on how to create one. So now it's just gonna write the code, which is, you know, it's not quite, yeah, okay. Um, great, that is the start of the macro. Now write the VBA code to um, auto-populate cells A1 through, what did I say, P9? Here's the VBA macro that would populate cells A1 through P9. It says you can continue with the rest of the cells in a similar way. Please, please continue with the rest of the cells through P9. Again, now it's going to produce the macro. And the end result, so I only went through P9. Uh, the, the other thing it ha we ha I haven't yet done is the formatting. But in essence, this is the process that I went through to build that tool that I, that I showed at the beginning of the video. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I, I'm having a lot of fun playing around with ChatGPT, Code Interpreter, how we can use that for various use cases. This isn't specifically commercial real estate, but it's certainly a, a, a practitioner in commercial real estate who understands the use cases that they want, but maybe doesn't have the technical capability, now does, has their own software developer at their fingertips. Pretty cool. 
Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time.